Hey guys, it's Jane from Legion Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about the Battlefield 1 open beta, which starts on August 31st. So that's kind of what we expected. I mean, that's what I said in a video I did a while ago. It would be late August or early September, but we get an official date. It's going to start on PlayStation, Xbox, and Origin for PC. So there's no specific early access for any platform, which is really great for this. And I'm just going to read you the article they wrote and then give some more information that came out on Twitter other than just the stuff that's on this website. So ready to go boots on the ground at the dawn of all out war. It's almost time the Battlefield 1 open beta begins on August 31st for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Battlefield members get early access so I don't know if that they'll get it on the 28th or if everyone else gets it on September 2nd and it starts on the 31st. Maybe they haven't decided yet but you have to sign up for the insider program by August 21st. So I know a lot of you have already done that, but basically just go to Battlefield 1's website or look up Battlefield 1 Insider on Google and you'll just be able to sign up super easy. Otherwise you won't get a code to play early. The Battlefield 1 open beta will include the Sinai Desert Map, a scorching hot battlefield located just east of El Jafar. From infantry skirmishes in the narrow streets of the village of Bear El Mazar to dogfights above the majestic cliffs, you'll need to make a tactical use of the dunes as you engage in explosive battles. Now, as we've seen with desert maps in the past, um, especially a map like Silk Road we saw in Battlefield 4, they tend to be heavily vehicular maps. I mean, it's really hard to be successful on infantry, except for maybe one specific objective, which I'm assuming will be the objective in the town. I just hope they find either a way for everyone to always have access to a vehicle, like a horse or a dirt bike, so that you can always find a way around the map. Or maybe you can even call your horse to come and get you, but honestly, it's just really frustrating when you're in infantry and you just get left in the middle of the dunes and you really have no one to shoot at and nowhere to go and you just get destroyed by vehicles. When all hope is lost, reinforcements will arrive in the shape of a powerful behemoth and this is a deadly armored train charging through the desert sands. So this is the armored train that we saw. We saw a bunch of gameplay of it in this trailer and it's honestly, actually, it's a really awesome behemoth. The Zeppelin's probably my least favorite one, probably because I've already played with it, but the armor train and the battleship look absolutely awesome, and we got to see more ga naval gameplay at the end of this trailer as well. So the two modes that will be available in this beta are Conquest, an all-time fan favorite for Battlefield players. You guys know Conquest is going to have 64 players, and really the main difference with Conquest in this game from previous games is the addition of behemoths, which are really awesome. Now Rush is now a 24 player mode instead of 32 players. Not sure necessarily how I like that, but I'm hoping that people will be able to change the player counts because 24 does seem a bit low. Hopefully people can change it to 32, but who knows, maybe the maps will be designed better. I'm assuming they will be for 24 players, but many of you are wondering this, how are they going to do MCOM stations? Because obviously you can't do that in World War I. Um, basically what it is is the attacking force must find and destroy the defender's force's telegraph post, which can be used to call in artillery strikes. So the defenders can call in artillery strikes with their telegraph post until it's destroyed, and the defenders can deny the attackers their mission by disarming explosives that the attackers plant on the telegraph's position. Should the telegraph post be destroyed, the defenders must fall back to the next sector and protect the telegraph post. Get your squad ready to, to deploy because on August 31st, you're going to experience all-out warfare. So, in this beta, we get one map. We're not sure how long it's going to last. We're not sure what early access gets. I'm just happy that we finally got some information on the Battlefield 1 beta. I'm happy that it is August 31st because I know for most of you, that is still summer. Uh, personally, for me, I'm, I'm already back to school. That's really why I haven't been uploading as much, especially considering that there isn't too much to upload. So, I spent mainly news stuff for now until we get the beta and once the beta comes out I'll post a ton of videos don't worry about that but I'll also probably post a video later today or tomorrow about the elite soldiers the, that's a really cool thing that's similar to heroes in Star Wars Battlefront but I'll talk more about that in my next video don't forget to stay subscribed to stay tuned for that drop a like on the video but that's what it is for you guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time the legend our Lawrence of Arabia dies tonight.